everybody, how's it going? Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've talked to you, but I kind of just wanted to give you an idea of what was going on. I want to let everybody know that everything's fine. Um, just been a little busy, haven't felt very well lately. It turns out that I've got a pretty bad staph infection. I really didn't even know what this was until recently. Uh, I've gotten lately to where I don't feel very well and I was having to push myself to get out of bed. And uh, granted, I do have an extraordinary sense of laziness at times, but this was different. Like the heat was really getting to me. Lately it's been really hot down here in Georgia and things have been really overbearing for me. Um, as a lot of you know, I had a loss in the family a little over a month ago and I was contributing what I was feeling to part of the coping and the mourning of that situation and this past week at work I just got to where I couldn't take it anymore I was miserable um, I was breaking out on the side of my face and on my hands anytime I'd get a cut or a scratch I was getting these like blister looking welts on them and my face was starting to look real bad I'm not really a vain person per se, but this was starting to affect me uh, emotionally. Just I was getting where I didn't feel comfortable being able to go out, because even I wasn't able to shave with the bumps, and it was you could see it through even like my beard hair. And anyway, um, so yeah, it turns out that I have a staph infection, and that's what was causing the problem so I'm on medication right now I've been kinda of taking it easy and chilling out a little bit more um, medication is helping it's starting to clear up my hands look a lot better my face is too I was actually able to shave today for the first time in about three weeks um, I'm not quite sure how I got this I just know that it has taken its toll on me a little bit um, we were really worried that the beginning that I've had it long enough to where it still possibly could be in my bloodstream and that's when you get real bad with it but um, yeah so I'm coping with it the best that I can uh, things have been it's been kind of rough but I'm starting to feel somewhat better I'm actually trying to get some rest this weekend and um, hopefully that helps out a lot but in the meantime I have been able to get some stuff done around here just some small things that I've been wanting to do for a little while and I haven't got around to doing uh, for one I was able to finally get, let me get this, these posters up on the door here I got these at Walmart <coughs> not too long ago and they've just been sitting in the corner and one of the reasons that I'm okay with putting them in now is because I finally was able to install this. I now finally have an air conditioner in the shed. And when usually you have the door shut and it would be extremely, extremely, uh, and it would be extremely hot in here to the point where it's unbearable and you're sweating to death, uh, I can now shut the door and with the air conditioner it's like extremely comfortable in here um, I haven't tested the camera out with the air conditioner I don't know if you can hear it with the directional microphone or not if you can then I'll adjust it in the next video but right now it is on high and uh, it's very comfortable in here I love it it's very enjoyable uh, it'll actually open up the doors to be able to film more in this shop because uh, usually Dakota's in here playing the Xbox or mom's in here watching Netflix and I bought this not just as part as an expansion of the studio and the recording aspect for the channel but also for the family to be able to use and lately they've actually been able to take advantage of more than I have um, but you know I'm still getting settled in getting things situated exactly where I want them to go so it's just been kind of a a learning process for me of how exactly I want everything be set up and how to utilize it the most efficient and effective way that I can. 
but the air conditioner is definitely helping. Before I just had, let's see, these fans. Oh, yeah, mounted. There's one up there, and then there's one over here. That was just, dang. That was basically just pointed at me the whole time or whoever was in here. And that was what we could do to lift with it. Um, now we actually have it where you don't have to have the fans going all the time. So it's kind of nice. I don't know if I got this set up correctly. But yeah, no, but things have been not great, but it's given me some time to evaluate and realize a couple things that I need to do around here anyway. And um, I want to expand more with the channel again. I want to find the time and make it a priority to be able to do some more gaming on the channel and continue the process that I've begun with it. And now that I've got a more comfortable place to be able to do it in, part of the problem that I've had for a while is the fact that I really didn't have a comfortable place to film these videos. Um, when it's raining, you can't film in these sheds because of the metal roofs. Um, when it's 95 or above degrees, I mean, it's impractical because for the microphones to pick up correctly, you can't have a fan directly on you. All you hear is the whoa, 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 whoa. You know, and usually within, you know, two seconds when we turn the fan off, yeah, you know, I'm completely drenched in sweat. Um, so, I mean, the fans basically don't even keep me cool. They just keep me from being at the point of sweating. It's still uncomfortable, but I suck it up and, you know, soldier through it. But, you know, this gives opens up a lot of doors. And, in fact, I think where I got this one from, there's another one available. And I think I'm going to get it and put it into the office shed with all the Dragon Ball stuff in my office area. Because it does, it makes a huge difference. Um, even with it not being perfectly sealed up in here, I mean, it, there's like no humidity. It's 100% comfortable. And once it's this cool in here, I'm pretty sure, if, you know, it turns out that there is noise on the microphone that I could possibly put it like on low or something and it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Especially by the time if I put any kind of music or anything onto the video. So, but yeah, no, I've been... Uh, I've spent the day cleaning up back here some, reorganizing a few things and just trying to get this place back back in a working order. I've neglected it after I got to a certain point, but the kids the kids have really been using it and it's been it's it's been kinda rough. <laughs> I've had a rough last month and a half, but the medicine should kick in and get me cleaned up here soon and hopefully I'll be back at doing my thing a hundred percent so and I'm I'm really looking forward to that um, well I appreciate you if you sat through this to the end um, I just wanted to give everybody kind of an update what was going on with me and the channel um, I hate I hate the time <clears throat> excuse me I hate the times where I have stuff like this going on and it kind of takes that momentum down because it seems like every time that I get a forward momentum with my uploading and with my progress with the channel something stops me and I mean I guess anybody that happens to everybody um, but fortunately I'm taking this time to reflect and figure out some things that need to be done I have some big projects that I still need to film. In fact, if it wasn't for the fact that I just wanted to get it done like that, I really wanted to film me installing the air conditioning in here. But I was feeling, ugh. excuse me, I was feeling like crap yesterday when I got off of work, and I ended up having to run a whole nother power uh, Romex line to the main breaker box on the other side of the main house, and I was filthy, sweating, dirty, nasty, and I, I didn't feel like getting the equipment out. I just wanted to get it done. It was, it was pretty bad. I was miserable, but I'm glad that I got it done yesterday, and that's let me kind of sit back and enjoy the day for what it was and get some rest, some legitimate rest. So, but if you if you stick with me and you have some patience, we'll be back very soon with a lot more content. I've got Chris doing some more music. I got some people that are wanting to be in some videos and we're gonna kinda expand and spread out a little bit. We're gonna try a few things. We're gonna experiment with some stuff and we're still gonna have our normal videos, so. 
I appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.